All right, I'm going to try to start this bike for the uh, first time. I have to say I'm really nervous. I've spent quite a bit of time on this project through the winter, about six months, about a thousand hours, and maybe about 10,000 photographs I've taken, documented, taking the bike apart and putting it back together. I'm still a long way from uh, getting uh, done, getting finished, but uh, today's the day I'd like to start the bike. One of the things that I did in preparation for starting the engine was to add some engine oil to the cylinder sleeve. I poured a little bit of oil, engine oil, through the uh, spark plug hole. After adding engine oil to the cylinder, uh, I decided to uh, kind of gently turn the engine over using the kickstart option. This allowed me to uh, turn the engine over with no spark or starter motor and just gradually work oil through the gears and uh, through the piston, um, adding uh, uh, another safety measure, I guess. I roughed in the wiring harness just, just enough to uh, provide electricity where I needed it uh, to start the engine. I also jury-rigged a temporary fuel system. I've used this before on my V-Strom. Uh, it's an old water bottle that I put a petcock in the bottom of it and have a piece of fuel line that uh, travels to the carburetor. I also have some safety measures where I've got a fire extinguisher and a garden hose ready to go in case I uh, run into some problems. All right, I, uh, I really don't know what to expect here. I've never done this kind of work before to the extent that I've done this. Uh, so I'm gonna be pretty surprised if this engine actually starts. So I'm gonna give it a go. Alright, I had to shut this off pretty quick because I've got a oil leak coming out of the uh, counter sprocket shaft seal. So I've got to figure out what's going on there. And um, But anyway, the bike started and it's going to run. So let me see if I can get this dealt with and uh, hopefully run it through some gears here in a minute. Okay, I found the problem. This little bushing here between the shaft and the seal had not been uh, set properly, wasn't uh, in the proper position, so consequently oil leaked out past it. All right, I'll try uh, for a second time here. What I want to happen is the uh, fan come on the, uh, to let me know that the cooling system is working. The blue smoke, uh, the oil coming out of the muffler is just about gone. That's a good sign. I really would like to have the, uh, the fan come on. Doesn't seem to be any oil leaks anywhere or water. All right, I've got a little steam coming off the uh, radiator here. I don't know if that's a water leak or what. But uh, no visible oil leaks anywhere. 
and the temperature gauge is getting up there. All right, by uh, taking a hot wire off of the positive battery and taking a negative lead to the fan, I can uh, connect this wire and make the fan work. So I know it works. Um, I just have a bad uh, ground, I'm guessing, somewhere, because uh, there's power going to the bike, obviously. So it uh, seems to be a ground issue, which might be that one right up there. What I'm going to do is start the bike one more time and try to run it through the gears to make sure that the uh, clutch and transmission are working all right. So far, I've been only running it in neutral.